Welcome back, friends, to what is this, our 10th annual Christmas Buyer's Guide. So I've got 10 items picked out. Now, Mrs. W always says that I'm the best gift giver she's ever met, and she's right about that because I have a simple recipe for success. I buy gifts that I want for myself, right? So everything that I'm going to share with you, if I were to receive this from, from a friend or from you guys, I would be thrilled. I would be so thrilled I'd probably stop exactly what I was doing uh, just so I could fiddle with it a little bit. So this year's theme, um, I really try to keep prices down. So there's something that will fit every budget. Um, the lowest item I think comes in at under $5 and the highest item just a little bit over a hundred. So a lot of these things are a little bit more geared towards uh, preparedness this year. Uh, and I had a fun time picking them all, all out. So let's uh, bring up the, uh, my screen here. I'll share, I'll do a screen share with you and we will go over each item from lowest priced to highest. These are my top 10 picks for Christmas 2020. All right, a perennial favorite. Man, I love these things. These are battery storage, uh, little plastic deals. Um, they were originally designed by Tools Aviation for pilots, and it gave them a secure way to store batteries where they wouldn't flop about. Uh, so what I have done with mine is I, see so you can get these in all different battery configurations and all different colors. And so I color coordinate everything. So for me, my AA batteries are orange, my CR123 batteries are red, um, nine volts are yellow. So at a glance, I could quickly see exactly what they are. It's just a really good way to organize your batteries. If you want to grab a pack uh, to go, they're not um, you know, stumbling or fumbling around or bouncing around, getting discharged. Uh, they really are excellent. And at $3.95, you just can't beat it. You can get the four holder, the eight holder, or even up to the 12 holder, uh, which is the one I prefer. I prefer either the four or the 12 but a great stop, stocking stuffer uh, for uh, under $5. It's a, they're really nice and they're really nicely made. Number two, it seems the Openel French knife lockback knife makes it to uh, <laughs> every Christmas list. This is the knife that Mrs. W carries and so does her mother. I was a little surprised, you know, before, I, you know, I, of course, her mother has carried one of these for years, uh, her being Swedish, maybe she knew something that I didn't, but they're just delightful little knives and a wonderful value. I would recommend the number four. The number three is a little bit small. It would be a great knife for a purse or for your, uh, for your lady friend, uh, but the number four is just a wonderful, beautiful knife. Nice steel, easy to sharpen, wonderful heritage. It'll just make you smile uh, when you open it up. And at $11, for free shipping, I mean, I just don't know how you could beat that. Uh, these little little guys, they just, uh, they're just beautiful. And they lock too, that little collar on there, that silver collar, you rotate that and it'll lock the blade. You know, it's a two-handed knife, but um, very, very cool. So that's number two. Number three, this was on our original list and something I've had, I've had these for what, 20 years or so. They're put together, started by a really nice family. I think it's still owned by the same family. And it's just a simple little low-tech LED light that clamps on to a nine volt battery. They're not super bright, they're not super technical, but if you hook this onto a lithium, you can get 80 hours of runtime. And what I kind of find with this is that these are really nice for emergency kits because they tend to stay in the emergency kits. If you're like me, you often rob things like, oh, where's that? I need a flashlight. You know, you go into your emergency kit that never gets put back. These are not so bright where they're all that useful, you know, for day-to-day -day tasks, but for an emergency, for long-term storage with a lithium battery, they are really, really nice. They have a high and a low, little switch on there. So a light, a, a, a dim and a brighter setting. And what I like about this one, I would recommend this one here is it glows in the dark. So every time you turn it on it kind of charges itself and you can see it it's really nice for having it in a tent or when you're camping but i just adore these little lights they're uh, they're really really nice number four one of my favorite axes of all time and i don't know how they can make it so good and so cheap is the cold steel trail boss i have i purchased mine originally years ago i've done videos on them it's just it's 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 one of my favorites even over axes that are four, five, six times its price. It, the handles never come loose. It's, I think it's so good because it's modeled after a classic uh, American pattern. You know, that they didn't try to reinvent the wheel. They copied something that, was, that worked well. They've done a nice job on it. It's on an American hickory handle. It's very well hung. It is the perfect 
truck axe. If you wanted to have something that wasn't going to really break the bank and at $29, uh, you just cannot be it. I love this. This would be, if I had to pick my top five axes, if I could only keep five of what I, axes that I own, this would be number five. This would be right up there. It would be a wonderful gift and it would be, uh, anyone would love to receive this. It's just very, very well made. Good steel, um, nice quality. I think they make a sheath for it too. But that might be a good project for you if you wanted to get into leather work, it'd be a, to build a sheath for your, uh, for your trail boss. But that is uh, definitely, that's a favorite. Number five is the UCO Candle Candelabra. They make two versions of these. They make a small one that takes a single Basically what it is is it's a, a lantern that runs off of candles. It's a, they're beautifully made. They have all different colors, uh, porcelain uh, coated aluminum. They're very, very light. And what's clever about them is that these little candles inside are, although they are proprietary, you have to order them from UCO, but they're not expensive and you can buy them by the case on Amazon or lots of different places. But there's a little spring inside and the spring pushes the candle up as it melts and keeps the flame consistent. And these are re relatively bright. And I've even had success with, uh, you can even heat food on them. Now you're not going to bake a cake or anything on this, but if you look at the top up there, that little aluminum lid, that's designed to put a, uh, a can of beans or some stew. I even heard of someone that told me that they used these, to, they slept in their car going across country and it was cold and, and these one of these was able to keep the the car, inside the car from freezing and keeping it uh, comfortable. And these are great. I have two of them. I have the green ones and oftentimes we put them outside when we have parties or to light the way, you know, down to the trail or stuff. But these are just delightful, very well made. And at $36, I think that they're a really, really good value. And I think they come with candles. They come with three candles if you order this. Um, my favorite color uh, is the red. Check the prices on these. Sometimes uh, different colors will cost more. And if you go with the silver one or the non-coated one, sometimes I've seen that for $10 cheaper or so. But um, these are really nice and great for an emergency kit. Next up is an IFAC. I'm, uh, you know, I'm really surprised how few people have these uh, at the ready. And I, you know, I, and I haven't always had them either, but I think we know now this, this little kit right here is, is just, it's not overly complicated. You don't have to go to EMT school or anything to use it. It's something that anyone can use and it could be a lifesaver for less than $50. If you work with a chainsaw, if you work around heavy equipment, do dangerous work, having something like this is really, really important. It gives you four things. It gives you a North American cat tourniquet. And I would be really careful on buying these things. I've even been fooled. There's a lot of counterfeits on there and they're not to be trusted. You want the North American rescue, rescue tourniquet. It's a higher quality. It's going to give you an Israeli bandage, a combat gauze, and a pair of gloves. It's just a very simple, um, bare bones kit that's going to be perfect for stopping a bleeder or a bad cut. Uh, it could be in construction from a power saw. I've gotten to the point now that I have one within reach whenever I'm working with a chainsaw. And a lot of guys that I that, that I know are starting to carry these on their fallers belt. So you might couple this with a nice high quality small pouch, just keep it small or something you can mount on a belt. But this is something that everyone should have and, and this would be a great gift, um, a great gift uh, and it could save a life. Next up, Rhino USA. Now this is a company, um, I, I bought a couple things from them two years ago or so and I'm really, really pleased. Um, the quality, of everything is very good. Uh, the price is excellent. It's re retrieval. They make retrieval stuff uh, for off-roaders and such. And this, coupled with the next item that I'm going to share with you, would be for under $100 would give you a really great retrieval kit for helping someone get out of a ditch or out of a snowbank and such. What these are, are there, are there synthetic soft shackles and it's a two-pack. So instead of those heavy shackles that we're all used to using, those are kind of old school. These are real, have really replaced them. They're much safer. They don't tear up your vehicle near as bad. And having a pair of these, you can hook on to anything. You can hook around. We used one of these when I was pulling Jariah out, uh, right around his differential because he didn't have anything to hook on to. And you want a pair of them. And when these first came out, they were very, very expensive. And this is, um, I think this is the price uh, of fit for what, $49? This is, I, I paid more than that for the single. 
uh, that I bought. So that's good to see that. And look at the tensile strength on that, 46,000 pounds. These are excellent. You get a nice two pack in there. If you only need one, you can get one there for 24, um, but I think I would get the two pack. Uh, it's gonna couple well with uh, the next item. So this is $50. Um, if you had the means, um, I would get the retrieval kit with it. This is an incredible value, $64, free shipping. You get a 20 foot um, toe strap uh, that's rated at uh, th over 31,000 pounds and you get a really great um, uh, shackle that will fit into your back or into your rear or front receiver on your truck. This is the whole kit you need. If you take this with these uh, soft shackles right there and you're, you know, you're right around a little, I guess a little bit more, but $100 range, uh, a little over $100 and you have a first class retrieval kit um, that is, would, I would love to have this if someone were to give it to me. The first time I bought one of these guys, I paid more than this for that and I didn't even get the toe strap in the bag. So this is, this is, and I actually have this one of these too. I think I bought one of these from my dad, the exact same one. Very nice finish, nice paint, um, very nice. You don't want to be towing on your trailer ball. So this is the, this is what you want for your retrieval kit. But that would be a, that'd be a great gift. I would really enjoy having that. Number eight course we couldn't miss the Nipex tool kit. These two tools right here are have almost replaced what they do is they stand in for me having to go back and get sockets and wrenches. They are a really great combo and if your husband or boyfriend is a, um, a mechanic or a maintenance type of guy or, or works with his hands or works with tools this combination right here is going to make his life so much better. Have that To have that on your belt, to be able to have a full adjustable wrench set, to have the excellent Cobra pliers, is they're just a godsend. I grab these, when I have something unknown, I don't know, I know something needs to be repaired or fixed or bolts or nuts tightened right there, I grab these two tools right here, the exact same two, and almost nine times out of ten, um, this is everything that you need uh, to get the job done. They are a little bit expensive at $84, I understand that, but these are of the highest quality, of course, German made, and any man that's worth his salt that were to open this up as a Christmas gift, even if that's all I got for Christmas, I would be a happy camper. <laughs> so <laughs> you couldn't go wrong with that. I stand behind them 100%. Just ask anyone who uses tools for a living what they think of the Nipex brand. And uh, you know, the funny thing about that is um, I had an electrician come out uh, the other day and, and I was, chatting with him, you know, we're going over a couple things. And I noticed, I'm always checking out guys' tools, right? And I looked inside of his uh, van and all of his tools were, uh, were Nipex in, in his tool belt. And I just kind of gave him the nod and, and uh, you know, we just had that in common. Like that, that's a man who knows, knows his tools uh, that uh, takes the time and effort to pay a little bit more um, and get the good Nipex tools. And that would be a great combination for $84 right there, free shipping. And then the last one, um, a brand that I am very, very fond of, is a nice watch. This is one of the most incredible value, va values uh, in the watch world. Uh, Seiko is, is a wonderful company. I have recently kind of gotten into the study of horology, and, and horology is a study of time and watches. And, and when I was in London, we got to go out to Greenwich Village and see the Harris clock and all those things. And it was so fascinating, and I, I find it very interesting. But the Seiko 5 is one of the best values in, in, of all watches. The Seiko 5 line is very interesting. So the, they have a mandate. For it to wear the Seiko 5 uh, badge, it has to have uh, five things. Number one, it has to be automatic meaning it needs to have an automatic movement, meaning no battery, it's not quartz. So it winds, uh, there's an offset weight counterbalance that rotates and winds the spring inside as you move your arm. And so it's not dependent upon a battery. And this is an in-house movement, meaning every piece of this uh, watch is all made by Seiko. And to get a, an in-house movement on a watch, an automatic uh, for $125, um, it just, beggar's belief. Um, they're just really beautiful watches. The design of it, it's a classic military field watch. Uh, it's a nice size. Um, I have one of these. I absolutely adore it. It comes on a nice band. You can get them in uh, green or blue. They may have a tan option, but I'm not sure. Uh, the, the other things, are, to make up the other five, uh, it has to be um, day and time. Uh, it, is, it has to have, uh, excuse me, 
a date and day. Those are the, so it needs to be, sorry, I'm, I am just, my mind is not working right today. It needs to be uh, automatic, it needs to have a day, it needs to have a date readout, it needs to be water resistant, and it needs to be shockproof. Those five things, when you see a Seiko 5 watch, it will have those five things um, guaranteed. That, that's what makes it a Seiko 5. And at $125, it is a, a wonderful deal. Now, this is not a diving watch. Uh, this is not a watch you would probably want to go swimming with, but it would be fine for being out in the rain, um, taking a shower, that sort of thing. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't go uh, deep sea diving with it. If you really want to step up and get something, it's going to be twice the price. But a true, incredible diving watch, I would recommend the Seiko SKS. You know, and I didn't put that in here, but let's let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a tab here. Let's go. Let me show you the Seiko SKS. One of the most classic watches of all times. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Now this is a true diver here. And they come in lots of different configurations. These are very quite famous watches. They're very classic design. Um, you'll see a lot of see them used in a lot of movies on actors and such, but this would be the line right here. I would probably go with the uh, the blue. And that's if you really wanted to step up and get a hard use, true diving watch, 200 meters water resistant. Beautiful, beautiful watch. Well, that's my list. I um, um, was kind of fun putting this together. I asked Mrs. W uh, this morning, sorry, I'm still convalescing here, if she would put together um, 10 items for, for the ladies. And she's working on that right now. So tomorrow, Lord willing, I'll, I'll put up, do the same video, but we'll do things um, that geared towards the ladies from Mrs. W's perspective. So uh, hopefully that will, that, will, that will come to fruition. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers. And we'll see you guys on the next video.